if you've read the book, nice. If you've read the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, you know that this is one of the greatest books that exists. This is the book that's gonna teach you how to win friends, how to socialize, how to communicate, and how to make other people like you. It's basically the GOAT, the Bible of social skills, socializing, and speaking and influencing people. But after reading this book, there's one very dangerous trap that's literally hidden in plain sight that we can fall into. And this is something that I fell into for years, and I wanna explain it in this video and make sure that you don't fall into it. So I remember running up to my room in 2020 with excitement because I only had one chapter left of this book. I laid on my bed, I finished the last chapter, and with a bit of an ego, I remember I, I shut the book like this, I put it down, I stood up, I looked in the mirror and I said, finally, I'm a social god. Finally, I know how to talk to people, how to socialize, how to do small talk, how to get strangers to like me. I felt on top of the world. Therefore, I went out into the real world and I started practicing what I learned from this book. I started practicing to talk about other people. And that's a very big message from this book. If you've read it, you know that Dale Carnegie preaches that other people love to talk about themselves. A person's favorite name is his own. A person's favorite face is his own. A person's favorite clothes and car are the ones that he owns. Like people love to talk about themselves and their life and what they got up to on the weekend and what their experiences are with a certain machine in the gym or what their experiences are working at a certain place. Like people love to talk about themselves. And so what I would do is I would go out in the real world and when I would small talk and conversate with random people, I would ask them about themselves. Let's say I'm in the gym, and I'm talking with this guy about this certain machine, I would say to him like, oh, have you used this machine before? He'd be like, yeah, yeah, I used it last, day, last week for my back day. Then I would say, oh, look, what, what exercises do you do in your back day? He'd be like, yeah, I do bent over rows and dumbbell rows and that pull down. Then I would say, oh, how many reps do you do them for? He'd be like, yeah, first set is between eight and 12 reps, second set between 10 and 50 reps. Like, I would just actually just keep the conversation all about him. And it wasn't until I was in a conversation at the gym with a guy who was incredibly blunt and a little bit boring, that I realized I was doing this whole socializing thing wrong. I took the teachings from this book and I was applying them in the worst possible way. Because what happened was, when I was speaking to this blunt guy, he would give me one word responses. And very quickly I realized that by me asking about him and showing a great deal of interest in him, the conversation just turned into an interrogation. It just turned into an interview. I was there asking him, how many reps are you doing? Six. Oh, do you like this exercise? Yeah, it's good. Oh, how many, days a, how many days a week do you train? Five. And as I was driving home on the motorway, I reflected on that moment and I realized like, whoa, that was not a conversation. That was an interview. Like, there was no personality. Nothing was flowing. We weren't bouncing off each other. We weren't conversating. I was just interrogating this poor guy that was using the Smith machine. And so I quickly learned that the trap from this book is to take the teaching of showing an interest in other people a little bit too literally and a little bit too extreme. And that's what I done. I read this book and the main concept I got from it was talk about others, you know, let them speak about themselves, keep the conversation on them, they will love it. But what happens when you apply that a bit too much with complete strangers? In, in small talk situations, what ends up happening is there's no personality. The conversation isn't flowing. You guys aren't bouncing off each other. They're not getting to know you a little bit and you get to know them a little bit. No, it's just literally a fucking interrogation. Like you're there like, oh, this and that, this and that. Like, bro, no, no, no. You need to, you need to avoid doing that. Take the teachings from this book, right? Understand and learn that when someone speaks about themselves, keep the conversation on them. Allow them to keep talking about themselves. That's how they will never shut up. And that's how you never run out of conversation. Just allow them to keep talking about themselves. But remember that, bro, at some point, it's totally fine to speak about you. It's totally fine for you to say, for you to begin a sentence saying I, or me, or something about yourself. Especially in small talk with strangers, let them know a little bit about you. I never let strangers know anything about me when I was socializing. And this is a mistake I done. I, I would, it would just be all about them. I would never tell them about me or my experience or what happened to me. And this is why I, after reading this book for a couple months after, I kind of fucked up. Like I was just interrogating people on the street for no reason. And that's not how you socialize with people. Honestly, that's not. When it comes to small talk, especially with strangers, don't be so, anal about keeping a conversation on someone else. Speak about yourself a little bit. Have a couple sentences that begin with me and I, okay? Make sure the, sentence, make sure the conversation is flowing, make sure you guys are sharing ideas, exchanging ideas. They tell you a bit about themselves, you tell them a bit about you, 
It's both, you know, like equal forces, not just them speaking 99% of the time and you quiet, unless that's how they are. But a lot of times in small talk, the other person isn't that confident to just speak about themselves. So it's going to have to be a little bit of back and forth and a little bit of a compromise. So don't be scared to speak about yourself a little bit. And just make sure you don't fall into the mistake I done of just fucking interrogating people. Like, bro, I was just asking questions about them and their life. And bro, we don't even know each other. And I'm just there like, oh, this and that, this and that. Like, how, how was this? How was that? And they're like, yeah, good, good, good. And it wasn't until I had the conversation with that really blunt guy that gave one word replies, I realized that, like, whoa, I was slacking this whole time. So yeah, that's a quick message of today's video. Bro, listen, it's all right to talk about yourself a little bit here and there. Not too much, but a little bit here and there. It's totally fine. Love you. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you sign up for my free coaching if you're trying to build your dream physique. Bro, catch you in the next one. Love you.